done. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing an empties video. If you guys don't know, an empties video is basically where you just collect your trash for a while and then show it to people and just talk about whether you liked it or you hated it or if you would repurchase it or like just fun stuff like that. And um, if my eyes look a little bit weird, it's because I've been trying to glue on fake eyelashes for 20 minutes and instead of getting on the fake eyelashes, I just got on a bunch of glue on my face. So um, that feels really good in case you're wondering. So let's get started. So for shampoos and conditioners, the first conditioner that I used up was this nutrient rich coconut oil conditioner. And this I thought was really good at first. I was like, oh yeah, this conditioner is so good. It's doing so much good stuff for my hair. And then I realized that it wasn't actually that good. So I don't think I'd repurchase this, but I did get it at Marshall's for way cheaper than it's usually sold for. Um, it was, I got it for $10. It's usually like 25. So yeah, I got a good deal on it, but it wasn't really that good. I also used up these little samples, which I literally hated, but they were Ken Pave's You Are Beautiful Volumizing Shampoo. And then another volumizing conditioner of the same brand and another thick conditioning mask which I used before I took a shower and they worked fine as conditioners but I could not get over how terrible they smelled they were disgusting but I got them in a subscription box and yeah I've been trying to use up stuff from subscription boxes and I've also been trying to transition to cruelty free I'm pretty sure those are not cruelty free so I would definitely not repurchase or purchase at all. Another hair care product that I used up was this White Rain Leave-In One Conditioner and this does not test on animals but it was not that good. Um, yeah, I was just not really impressed with it. It just kind of made my hair feel, I don't know, it coated it with this weird stuff and it didn't really hydrate it at all. It was just kind of gross. So definitely would not repurchase this. I also did dye my hair. You guys probably didn't notice but the black dye, I originally had an ombre and I dyed it black again and the black dye was washing out so I just dyed it even blacker and I used this Ion Color Brilliance Liquid Permanent Hair Color and this was really really good. It's a cruelty free brand as well that they just sell at like a beauty supply store and it was really good. Um, so far the black hasn't even washed out and it just, yeah, it did its job. And then before that I used this Neutral Protein filler hairdresser thing. Um, I don't know if this actually helped with the color staying in my hair, but I feel like it did make my hair just feel thicker. I, I don't know, but this was pretty good. I don't know if I'd repurchase this though. I don't know. Just the lady there kind of convinced me that I needed it. She was like, oh my god, like this will keep the dye from washing out. Like I swear to god. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll buy it. It was only like a dollar. So um, this might have done the job. I don't know. So I used up two face washes. This first one is a St. Ives blem Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. And it is, it's a sample size that I got um, in a subscription box. And um, this was really good, but apparently they do test on animals. Um, they used to not test on animals because when I googled it, it said that they didn't, but then apparently they were bought out by a company and now they do, so fuck you, St. Ives! Also, I uh, used up this Lancome Cream Radiance. Uh, this was not that good because I have oily skin and this is for dry skin. Also, Lancome tests on animals. So as you guys have probably noticed, I've been using up a lot of the products that have been tested on animals, but I don't want to throw them away. I don't know, I just feel like that's wasteful, but I haven't purchased from cruelty brands in a while since I went vegan so yeah let me know if you think it's wrong to keep using um products to test on animals or not I don't know I just I feel like it's okay to keep using them and then throw them away but just let me know I used up a deodorant this was the clear gel secret cocoa butter kiss um this was very Bad. I don't know if this is just a bad batch of empties, but this was very bad. It, I have so many of them for some reason, and it says like 48 hour protection on it, but it does not last very long. After I work out and I smell my armpits, it smells really bad, so definitely would not recommend this. And secret tests on animals. I used up one thing of makeup wipes. Um, it was Petal Fresh Botanicals Repairing Facial Wipes, Blueberry, and Lemon, and these are my go-to. Makeup Wipes, it is a cruelty-free brand, and they don't burn your face. Um, the Yes to Cucumber or something, like, I know they're a cruelty-free brand, but they are not that good. They burn my face, and I hate it, but these are really good. I picked them up at Winco, and they're just, they smell so good, and they work so well. I just love them. Like, 
would recommend. I used up a couple exfoliators. Um, this one, it, the font is like kind of weird. You can see in the light, but when I look at it, I can't read it. It says peach and pear body scrub and this was not very good. Um, it's made by the brand Grace Cole, which is cruelty free and it just wasn't that good. It the beads weren't that exfoliating. I just, I need something to be super exfoliating for it to be good for me. And maybe if you have sensitive skin, this would be good. But did not really like this, but it did smell really good. So a shout out for that. The next exfoliator that I used up was from The Body Shop. And it's like a chocolate scrub. It was so good. I love the smell. It just exfoliated so well. I love it literally so much. I would definitely repurchase this. So I used up quite a few chapsticks. Well, just three, but that's kind of a lot to me. Um, this Lip Smackers Ice Cream Sandwich one, which sounds kind of gross, and when I first started using this, it tasted pretty gross, but then I kind of just got over it and was using it. It's not that bad, but um, yeah, apparently Lip Smackers doesn't test on animals either. I probably would not repurchase this, but, you know, it's cheap chapstick. It's it's fine. I used up this Maybelline Baby Lips thing, which I've had literally since 8th grade. Fuck this chapstick. This is the worst chapstick I've ever used. I hated it. It left my lips looking disgusting and gross. Also, they test on animals. Fuck you, Maybelline. Next one that I used was this Alba Botanica Natural Hawaiian Lips Chapstick. And it was okay. It wasn't that good. But I do really like this brand. So I'd probably try like another chapstick from them, but this was, I mean it was hydrating, I just didn't really like the smell, I was too like tropical pineapple, I actually had a very bad experience with something tropical pineapple. I forgot about this chapstick, I used up this EOS, and um, I, I don't know, I don't really know how I feel about EOS, some of them are good and some of them aren't that good, and then I can't find out if they test on animals or not, like websites are being sketchy, so I'm just not gonna purchase from them anymore, but... Yeah, if you know, like, let me know if they do, but I think they're fine. I like the packaging, it's really cute, and sometimes they work well, but there's one, the blue one, it literally dehydrates my lips, and I'm like, bitch, that's not what I'm going for. I used up a ton of mascaras. I have, um, so many mascaras that I've been trying to use up because, I don't know, I used to just hoard them. I would collect them and just not ever use them, or use them once and then buy a new one, so I've been trying to use them up before purchasing new ones. Um, the first one I used up is this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara and just comes in this little tube thing. And it was really good, but I'm so sad. Estee Lauder used to be cruelty free and now they aren't. Next thing that I used up is Essence Get Big Lashes, which is a really, really good mascara. I love this. This works so well. I would 10 out of 10 recommend and Essence is cruelty free. They sell it at most drugstores. Literally go buy this. Next thing I used up was the Maybelline New York Mega Plush Volume Express. Fuck you Maybelline. As we know, we don't like Maybelline. But this was also not that good. Um, if you can see, it has the- it's a really bendy like wand thing like it just it bends a lot which was terrible for putting on mascara I was so excited when I used this up and I was like finally I can use a good mascara because bitch I also used up a Lancome mini mascara and usually this type is really good but um as soon as I opened this it was dried up and so um yeah like it, it won't even it won't even I can't even open it because it's like all gross and dried up, but Lancome does test on animals, so won't repurchase from y'all. I used up a couple feminine hygiene products, um, just this huge box of always infinity pads that I found in the back of my closet. These are pretty good, I like them, and they just always seem to soak up my period, so thanks a lot for that. And then I also used up another box of pads, because I period a lot apparently. Um, just kidding, I just haven't done an empties in a while. These Vita Natural Cotton Pads. And I've just been trying to buy more like organic good brands and natural cotton pads. These were next to the, um, I don't know, the organic ones, so I figured they were probably good. And it's natural cotton pads, no chemicals, no synthetics, and no dyes. So nothing, nothing bad, hopefully. And these were pretty good. I would probably repurchase these. They weren't that expensive and they did the job. I used up a foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. And it is really good. The only thing I don't like about it is that it comes in this type of bottle. I wish it came in like a squirt bottle, but whatever. It's fine. This works really well and it was pretty cheap. Um, 
I feel like a lot of YouTubers are like, oh, like, I use, like, $40 foundation. And, like, I'm going to do a drugstore routine today, though. Like, all of my makeup is drugstore, unless somebody gave it to me as a present. I used up this random black, um bottom eyeliner pencil and I don't know what the brand is because it wore off. I think it was Wet n Wild and it was pretty good. Um, it lasted for a really long time. It was pretty OG so I used up this Tiny Me soap, um, not soap, a bath bomb thing and it was okay. It wasn't that good but it did have a really cute smell and yeah it just didn't change the color of the bath at all. Like the water was still basically clear after I used this but Whatever, I feel like it wasn't that expensive. I got it as a present, so yeah, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but it was cute to use. The next thing that I used up is this Estee Lauder Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, and it's basically just a cleansing water or oil or whatever, and Estee Lauder does test on animals, and this was okay. It was a little bit oily, so um, I don't know, oil with oily skin is just not good for me. And yeah, definitely would not repurchase because I test on animals and it wasn't even that good. The next thing that I used up was this Bath & Body Works Southern Lemon Chiffon Soap. And this had a nauseating smell. Like it smelled like lemon, just ugh, too much. It was way too much. And I used it up so quickly. I don't know if it's because it foams or something and that's why it used it up so quickly. But I don't know. I used it up in like two seconds and yeah I think that Bath and Body Works now tests on animals they used to not to fuck you Bath and Body Works but um yeah would not repurchase just because the smell was like sickening I wanted to vomit when I use this but I don't like wasting products so you know I'm gonna use it anyways I used up this little sample of lotion and it's actually cruelty free I don't know I've had this little sample for so long and it's like just this lotion. It smelled literally exactly like cinnamon, um, what's it called? Cinnamon rolls and the frosting that you put on it. Somebody needs to make a vegan version of that because, honey. But yeah, this smelled exactly like that and I really liked it. Um, I'm so sad that it went by so quickly because it was so small. The last thing that I used up was this. It's a, it's plant life soap and it's just, it's a, it was a bar soap and it came in this box. And on the side it says um, handcrafted olive oil, coconut oil, um, organic, and paraben free, vegan, made in the USA, gluten free, and just all that good stuff. So yeah, I don't really like bar soap though, sadly. I like the smell of it and everything. Maybe if you're a bar soap person you'd totally like this, but I'm just not a bar soap person. I got this as a present and I was like, okay, I'll use it up. So those were all of the products I've used up. Like I said, I'm trying to use up my products that have tested on animals and I'm bringing in products that have not been tested on animals. It's a cycle because I don't want to waste. But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. If you're totally offended and feel the need to unsubscribe, then I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave any requests or thoughts in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Bye everyone!